Right, here we go. We're uh, going to do some heat treating some blades today. These are um, copies of a uh, George Lee side blade, with the exception of this one. This is an extension. Uh, this one's for Simon Bruce. There you go, Simon. There's yours. We got some uh, Brown L's anti scale coating. We're going to coat that on the blades to prevent oxidization. Before we do that, we're going to use some um, acetone to clean the blades with. We've got an um, electronic uh, thing here that's used for getting Clamps. crabs out of a um, cooker once you've cooked the crabs and instead of burning your finger. No, I've got my technical assistant and uh, don't make me do stuff brother here. What's this for Mark? It's a clamp meter. Now tell me all about it. What, what do we have that for? Okay, we can measure current consumption and make sure the furnace isn't sucking too many ergs out of the power point. Ergs, okay. So this is a 240 erg kiln? Yes, yeah, so it's here. a 3600 erg watt furnace. Yep, right. And we're just gonna turn her on. And we're running that through what? What's this we're running it through? Well, I think Connor's unplugged it. Yep, that's the temperature control. Right, okay. Right, well, here come, we go. Come, come and tell us about the temperature control. Right. As the label says... Now you have to read that. This one's stupid. Okay. So, uh... Temperature control. Yeah, what temperature did you want? The kids are happy. Mm. Uh, we're, well, we're heat treating Sandvik 12C27, so we're going to need to go to 1080. Okay, it's set to that, and the furnace is on. Right, okay. So, um, we jumped inside the Matrix, programmed the, uh, the temperature controller box here. The instructions came in Chinlix. Chinlix? Chinglish. Chinglish. We couldn't understand it, but uh, we got it anyway. This is a $200 kiln, pottery kiln, got off gum tree, and um, that's going to be a little beauty. Got everything ready to go in there. The uh, temperature sensor down the bottom, the racks, which is going to hold the knives. We'll show you later how that's going to work. And uh, we got some, um, we got some Gulf Western oil here. Why, why are we using this oil, Mark? Because it's the closest thing to pure mineral oil you can get. Yeah, okay. Engine oil's got about 20% additives of other things other than oil, like detergents. Yep. This stuff's pretty much pure mineral oil. All right. So we're going to do the uh, the quenching of the blades and that. Super cheap special. Uh, so we've got some. Uh, we've got knives. We've got acetone clean knives. We've got the anti-scale coating. We've got the crab cooker thingy over here. We've got to heat the, uh, the blades up before we put the coating on. We've got some biltong. And most importantly, we have coolant to quench the blades in afterwards. So, no, that's um, to quench the thirst in. Oh, okay. So, uh, first quencher, blade quencher. There you go. Prior preparation and planning prevents poor performance. Cheers. Truth, too right, cobber. Yep, that little boy's happy. So what I'm doing here now is uh, making a an album for the Eagles, an, uh, an album cover for the Eagles. What, for their new album? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, What's it called? Journey of the... Journey of the Knife Maker? Journey of the Spiky Knife. Yeah. Yeah, that could be like a, a punk rock wind chime. Yeah. Or a post-apocalyptic Mad Mass. Mad, Mad Max. Mad Mass. Yeah, well, Mad Mass is the Catholic version. Right, this is... I'm, I'm having a little prop. A little trouble down towards the uh, the tail end where uh, I've cleaned it with acetone but I've actually had to hold it with my fingers to it could be a dead Kelly album cover uh, 
rotating on and and um, so a tiny bit of oil so on the not, blades from yeah, the fingers. Yeah, oil from the fingers, not quite sticking, but it's not going to matter because uh, it's all going to be under um, the handle. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to get the balance pretty much. That's pretty good. That'll do. That'll do. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. So what uh, what temperature is that? Okay. Looking pretty psychedelic, but it says 509 degrees C. Right, cool. Now. Well, it's been a few hours, but uh, we're almost up to temperature. So we're going to um, gonna whack them on now. Now, um, I've, I've lost all the hairs under my arm here. <laughs> the hairs are all singed here. And uh, feel a little warm in the nether region. <laughs> I've lost about 100 degrees C on the furnace. Well, we got them in there. Rising pretty fast. So what time we got? What time is it? It, it is. Hang on. It's um seven minutes past seven. Seven oh seven p.m. Saturday. And how long do we need? Twenty. Uh, Twenty. How many? How many minutes in the furnace? Well, twelve minutes. Ten eighty. Yeah. Okay. So, minimum. So we can go higher than that. Right. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go. But, uh, we'll get the we'll get the quenching gear set up now. Right. There we go. Once more into the breach. Tell me. The um, the wire actually melted, so it folded down. So uh, one of the blades was touching the bottom. That won't be an issue. No. But uh, yeah, geez, a lot of heat there. A lot of heat. My dad's really good at this.